Hi, I'm Lars Brubaker, and this is Two Minutes with Matter Control. On today's episode, we are going to design an L bracket. So we're going to start out by deleting the default object. We're going to drag in a cube and a cylinder, and then we're going to resize these so that they will be the actual base of our L bracket. So we'll first we'll scale this cube to width of 25 and a height of 6. And for the cylinder, we need to make it fit the same size, but we also want to make it only 180 degrees so it doesn't go all the way around. So we go to Advanced Options here, and we actually change it to be, oh, let's change the uh, other diameter there. And then we're going to go ahead and change this to be 180 degrees, and you can see that these two pieces are ready to fit together. We'll click Align, and we'll center these guys together, put it to the top, and then go into some more Advanced Options and actually raise that to the top of the top. Next, we're going to put together the part that's going to drill out the hole. So there's going to be a screw hole in here. And we'll start with the cylinder, make it the diameter that we want to drill our hole into, and then a little uh, cone so that we can have a recessed screw inside of our hole. And we'll align these guys together just like we did before. And so we center and center that thing. And next, we're going to flip this over so that we can actually have it drill out the screw hole and be the way that we want it to be. So we're going to align these guys again. Align again is just a very powerful and useful tool. We'll move this to the top and then we're going to go to advanced options for the top alignment and actually bring it down. So we're going to bring it down nine millimeters here and that's going to just center it right where we want it to be. And then for the Z, I'm going to actually lift it a teeny bit so that when we do the subtract in a moment, it'll make sure that it makes some nice clean geometry for us. There we go, that puts it at the top. Um, so here we go, uh, we're gonna, here's the subtract. Misplaced that guy a little bit. Um, and you can see that we now have drilled our hole out of our part. So for the last bit, we're gonna copy this part, paste in a new one, rotate up the new one a little bit, spin it around, and then we're going to align these two last parts together. So we align them, center, and the back, and there we have it an L bracket. So that's a very, very fast tutorial of creating an L bracket in Matter Control. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again soon.